Welcome back everybody. In this lesson we're going to carry on working on those repeated addition expressions that we looked at in the last lesson. Have you been practicing writing your own? I've been doing some. I wonder if you could check my work for me please. So in the first one I've used some tokens. They're my tokens with 10 dots on. So I've needed to use the number 10. Look what I've written. I've written 10 plus 10 plus 10. Do you think I got that one right? I'm happy with it. I've got the right number to match the token and I've got three tokens and three tens. So I'm happy with that. Now on this one I use some coins. Can you think what coins they are? They're small silver coins, so they are the 5p coins. Well done. So I've written 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Do you think that's right? Well, I'm happy that I've written the number 5 because they're a 5p coin. But I have noticed that I've made a mistake, haven't I? Look, I'm sure you've noticed. This five is that coin, this five is that coin, this five is that coin, and this five is this coin. So I haven't written a number here for this coin. Do I just write the number? No, I need to write plus first, don't I? Plus five. Let's check. I've got one, two, three, four, five coins, each 5p. And one, two, three, four, five fives. I think that's right now. Thanks for your help. Now, Number Bear's been practicing as well. Do you remember in the last lesson, Number Bear was finding it a little bit tricky? Yeah, he said he's practiced a lot and he thinks now he's becoming a bit more of an expert. He'd like you to see what he's done. He's feeling quite proud of it. Could you check his work as well? So this is what Number Bear has done. He got all of his collection of 2p coins. He's got loads of them, hasn't he? And he's written an expression to go with it. So these are his 2p coins and this is his expression. Can you read it with me? It's going to take us a while, isn't it? Let's have a go together, shall we? 2 plus 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 2. It's so long. Did he need so many plus 2s, do you think? Well, yes, he did, didn't he? Because he's made sure that each number matches a coin. There are, I can't see how many coins, let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are eight coins, eight two P coins. So how many number twos do you think he needed to write? Shall we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight twos to match eight two P coins. I think well done to number bear. That was quite tricky. And I think it took him quite a long time too. But I think he's becoming more of an expert now, isn't he? Now I'd like you to have a look at this expression and I'd like you to think about what would it look like if this is representing some coins or some of our tokens. So I'd like you either to get some coins or tokens or you could draw them and show me what this expression could mean when I'm thinking about coins. So pause the video while you do that and then come back. So, did you fetch either 10p coins or maybe the tokens? Did you know that you needed three 10p coins to match each of the tens in the, in the expression? So, each 10 meant one 10p coin. Why did we have three? Well, because there are three number tens, aren't there? Well done if you got that right. 
and we can use these sentences as well to describe what we've got. The first one says there are something groups of something. What do you think? I think you're probably getting quite good at this now. There are three groups of 10. Each 10p coin represents a group of 10 one pennies, doesn't it? And we can say there are 10 and 10 and 10. And when we write it with that plus sign, we can write this as 10 plus 10 plus 10. Well done if you've fetched 10p coins or three tokens with 10 dots on, that's fine too. Here's another expression. Can you read it with me? It says three plus three plus three plus three. And I'd like you to think about this expression as some groups of apples. I'd like you to draw a picture of what three plus three plus three plus three would look like in groups of apples. It could be apples in a basket, apples on a tree, apples on a plate, you choose. Let's just check, shall we, that we know what the groups are. So there are how many groups of how many? There are four groups of three. There are three and three and three and three. Can you pause the video and go and draw the picture that means that? I wonder what your picture looks like of those apples, which represent three plus three plus three plus three. Here's mine. I decided to draw them on plates. That seemed easiest, but you might have chosen some trees. So we've got three apples, three apples, three apples and three apples. That's four threes. So I've written the expression here. Three plus three plus three plus three. That's my picture. If you drew trees, did you draw perhaps four trees with three apples on each tree? Maybe you drew baskets. Did you draw four baskets with three apples in each basket? Well done if you did. Those pictures would all represent this expression. OK, here, so here's another picture. And we can describe what we can see in the picture using our sentences. So pause and think what numbers we need to fill in. There are how many groups of how many? And how can we say this? There are six groups of three, because there's six boats with three children in each boat. So we could say there are three and three and three and three and three and three. That's getting quite long, isn't it? So Number Bear has written two expressions and he wants you to choose the right one to match that picture of the boats. So it was six groups of three, wasn't it? Hmm. So look at the first one. Do you think it could be six plus six plus six? Number Bear says that would mean that there'd have to be six children in each boat and there aren't. He says also that there'd have to be three boats because there's three sixes. So he says that one can't be right. Do you think it's the other one? I think so. I can see the number three to represent the three children in each boat. And I can see that there are six threes in that expression to match the six boats. So did you get that? That was the right one. I think Number Bear is getting really expert now. So well done to him. This time I'm just going to give you a statement without a picture. It says there are two groups of five. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to see which expression matches two groups of five. It might be helpful first to just imagine a picture of two groups of five. It could be a picture of apples, or it could be a picture of cakes or coins, whatever you choose, as long as there's two groups of five. Having a picture in your head first is gonna help. So here are some expressions. Should we read them together? Two plus five, five plus two, five plus five, 
2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. And what do you notice about them? Pause the video and tell somebody or tell yourself what you've noticed. Did you notice that the first two expressions are not representing equal groups? 2 plus 5, they're different numbers, it's not equal groups. And the same with 5 plus 2. So that can't be right, that can't represent two groups of 5. What about the other ones? Are they both repeated addition? I think so, because they're adding the same number again and again, aren't they? So which one do you think is right? Two groups of five. Do you think it's five plus five? If you do, well done. Each five represents a group of five, and there are two fives, so that represents two groups of five. So I wonder what a bar model or a picture would look like to represent two groups of five or five plus five. We said that picture could be of anything, couldn't it? As long as it represents groups of five. I'd like you to pause the video now and draw a picture of two groups of five and then draw a bar model to show those two groups of five. You can also write the expression five plus five. I wonder what you drew. Here's my picture. I've had a go look. So I've written five plus five and this is my bar model. It's got two parts. Each part represents a group of five. And do you remember we said it's important to try when you're representing equal groups to make the parts of your bar model the same size. If you can do that, that's good. Can you see my picture? Two cakes. What's five about my cakes, do you think? Hmm, I bet you've spotted. On each cake, there are five candles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Somebody's birthday. So this is two groups of five candles. Show me your picture. I bet you've done a really good job. This time I'd like you to look at the expression that I've put a ring around. It says 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. And we've said that that can represent equal groups, can't it? Because all the numbers are the same. So what numbers would I put in my statement at the top? There are how many groups of how many? Have a think. You might want to imagine a picture that you could draw of cakes or whatever it is you want to draw or imagine to match 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So what do you think? There are five groups of two. That's right because each two is a group of two and there are five twos so it's five groups of two. So again I would like you now to draw me a bar model and a picture to represent this repeated addition expression. We said it's five groups of two, didn't we? So make sure your picture shows five groups of two. It can be two of anything. So pause the video and have a go now. OK, let's look at the bar model first of all. I hope it looks something like this. Has your bar model got five parts to it? And did you write two in each part? That shows five groups of two, doesn't it? Now, somebody's come along to help us here to represent those five groups of two. It's the number blocks. Mm. Number Bear isn't sure about this. Mm. Number Bear says there's a number two on the number block, but it's only one number block. How can that represent a group of two, says Number Bear? What do you think? Can you pause the video and explain to him? Ah, Number Bear has noticed 
that number block two has got two blocks. And he says, is that why we can say he's a group of two? That's right, number bear, well noticed. No, I haven't finished the picture yet, number bear. We need some more number blocks to show five groups of two, don't we? Can you think we've got one group of two? How many more number block twos do we need? That's it, number bear. We need four more. Let's see if we can find them. So now we've got two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two. So five number block twos is five groups of two, and it shows two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Well done if you got that right. I wonder what your picture is of. Maybe next time you could draw some number blocks next to your repeated addition expressions. That would be great too. Well done everybody for all your hard work in this lesson. I'm sure you're as expert as number bear now. Just have some more practice before the next lesson. I'd like you to practice drawing pictures and bar models and writing those repeated addition expressions. Here's some statements that you could do pictures and bar models for. It says there are four groups of six and then there are six groups of four. I'm sure you've noticed we swapped those numbers around, didn't we? So make sure your picture is right. So write out there are four groups of six and then draw your bar model. Write your repeated addition expression and you can draw any picture. Maybe it will be number blocks. Well done. And we really look forward to having you again in our next lessons.